Oh, man. All right. We ready to go? Yeah, we're speeding. Cool. Okay. Speeding. Well, he here says. we go. That's right. Speeding into the divisional round of the playoffs. Uh, welcome Ooh. back to Season Vets Pick'em. What's up? I'm Martin Henn, filling in for Colton Dowling this week, Andre Ricks. The one, the only, Martin Henn. That's, well, we're both Martin Henn. Oh, I thought you were, we Wait. introduced to each other. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. Thank you. Well, yeah. I appreciate that. Yeah, no wow. Well, yeah, Martin Henn. Uh, that's, that's me. That's too. That's, yeah. You're on my channel, you know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we got Jimmy here uh, in the booth. Not really a booth. Not a booth at all, actually. No. It's just a chair in the background. Yeah, he's just behind the camera in a chair. That's right. Behind the lights. Behind the lights. The man that makes it all happen. There you go. Behind Jimmy the Clifford. Scenes. Jimmy Clifford. That's right. So as you guys can tell, Colton not here this week. Uh, we're doing some divisional round playoff picks. Uh, I did the math. I think Colton's like a game ahead of me right now. I got to make that official. But I think uh, Colton's like one game ahead of me right now in picks. Uh, if you've been following along with us this whole time, you know that I have been making NFL picks each week based on which team I think is going to win. Colton has been making NFL picks each week based on some trivial metric that we make up. So we got Andre here making picks instead, uh, filling in this week. Uh, the metric we chose this week for Andre to pick on his teams is which city Andre thinks that Colton would bomb harder like at a comedy club in. So that's kind of our metric this week. So you got to pick the city or think of the cities that were going up against each other right. and then say which city would just hate Colton's stand-up more. Right. I've actually been with Colton in one of these cities mm -hmm. while he's done stand-up, and uh, we'll get to it. Yeah. <laughs> that we will. Um, I, that's true. I've actually traveled to a few of these cities with Colton, too. And uh, let me tell you, folks, they don't like him. So uh, yeah. we'll get started off with round uh, round one. First game we're covering is uh, Jacksonville Jaguars against the Kansas City Chiefs. Okay. Uh, I like the Kansas City Chiefs in this one. Uh, which city do you think Colton's bomber, bombing harder in, Andre? Uh, well, you know what? <clears throat> I've actually, this is one of them. I've been to Kansas City yeah. with Colton. Yeah. And you also. And uh, did not do so good in Kansas City. <laughs> <laughs> but since I, he has the experience, I think that uh, he would rebound and do well in Kansas City a second time. So I'm going to say he would bomb harder in Jacksonville. Bomb harder in Jacksonville. Okay. Yeah. So Andre taking Jacksonville for Colton to absolutely eat shit on stage. Definitely. Um, I like the eat Kansas City. <laughs> <laughs> I like the Kansas City Chiefs in this one. Uh, next, we've got the Buffalo Bills against the Cincinnati Bengals. I'm taking the Buffalo Bills in this game. Uh, Col uh, Andre, which city is Colton bombing harder in? Uh, see, this is tough because uh, they're both cold cities yeah. in the wintertime, and uh, gays love to dress in the cold. So It's true. Layers. Layers. Mm -hmm. So Colton would definitely look fashionable in both of these cities. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think they would hate him a little more in Cincinnati, though. Yeah, you think they hate fashion more, right? Yeah, and just him as a person. That's fair. Yeah. Cincinnati's dangerously close to Kentucky, and I feel like if there's any state in the great 48 that's going to hate Colton Dowling, it's for sure Kentucky. Kentucky. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think you got a couple, yeah, a couple Kentucky folks popping up, and yeah, I think yeah. you're about right on Plus, that. Plus, Buffalo is right next. It's like in between New York and Toronto, so you got like Canadians sure. and a lot of gays in New York. Little progressive. So they're rollover. more used to both. They're yeah. like we're friendlier mm -hmm. and we're more tolerant. Democratic state. It's also, also those hot wings. You know, they're not even focusing on the hot takes because the wings are just so hot. Yeah. Colton could also get bailed out by a giant snowstorm in Buffalo and just nobody comes to the show. To. They're right. Right. Wow. I think I think he could bomb equally in each city, but I feel like there's a better chance the show gets canceled in Buffalo due to the weather. Yeah. So that means it's more likely he's going to bomb in Cincinnati because, because the show will happen. every single show would go on. So you're saying if the show happens in both, he will bomb in both. <laughs> But the Colton, can't wait to have you back next week <laughs> <laughs> so we can get to the bottom of this. I'm saying you're going to look good either city. Bomb, bomb no bomb. It's going to yeah. be cold. You're going to be dressed up. You're going to look great. You're going to look great. But the jokes aren't going to fly. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> this is so much more fun without him here. <laughs> <laughs> We're a lot more on topic. Huh? We've never gone through this many games this quickly. We've really, yeah. This is the least. Oh. This is the least we've oh. talked about Colton's dad in any episode of this show we've done. <laughs> I'll say that I'm just much. looking at. It, I'm like, it's gonna take me like two minutes to edit this clip. <laughs> you know, yeah. We're really flying through these. Well, I was gonna ask you why you picked Kansas City in the first matchup. It was Kansas City and Jacksonville. Right. I think Kansas City is going to win. Right. So I just pick based on who I think is going to win. Just no stats involved. Just your intuition. Just sports. my, well, you know, based on what I know about football. Yeah. Yeah. Which sometimes includes stats. Sometimes I know about stats. Right. Mm-hmm. I got you. Cool. Okay. Yeah, that was the most off topic we're gonna get. Uh, <laughs> Which was pretty on topic. <laughs> it was very, it was very topical. Yeah, it was great. So uh, now we're gonna move over to the NFC. We've got the New York. They technically play in New Jersey, so we're saying Rutherford, New Jersey. Ooh, Rutherford, New Jersey. That's New right. York Football Giants against the Philadelphia Eagles. Uh, I like wow. Philadelphia in this game. Wow. And I'm picking the team based on based on who you think, where you wow. think Colton's gonna bomb harder. Oh man! In Jersey or in Philly? Oh right. man! Both just wonderful people. Very very yeah. unrelenting crowds either way. Yeah, I'm thinking Philly. Philly's gonna be a little more challenging. Phil, you're going to get black rooms. Jersey, you're not necessarily going to get black rooms. It's going to be more like suburb, suburban yeah. type. Yeah. Like Italians. Yeah. I'm thinking Philly's going to be the more challenging city. Mm-hmm. Something about their reputation already. Yeah. And then I think people actively fight against the brotherly love moniker. I think... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think... Uh, I think, yeah, if Philadelphia, I feel like Colton's going to get up there and they're just immediately not going to like him based on his appearance and energy. Yeah. And he's going to have to, like, win them over, which is yeah. a little bit of a coin toss. Well, here's the thing I know about Jersey, too. Also an ugly place. Yeah. It's but Colton, defense. I've seen okay. Colton dress like an Italian mom who thinks she's trendy before. Right. So I feel like some he might get up there and... There, there's going to be over. a woman in the crowd that's like, oh, yeah, we're wearing the same scarf, you okay. know? And the Sopranos were, he, he, lived in, he lived in New Jersey. Yeah, yeah, that was a big, yeah, it was Sopranos. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm taking uh, Philly then. You're taking Philly? Yeah. I think okay. Colton uh, just runs into just the, an abyss of black people that just aren't down with the gay shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And they, you know, and he's going to, this is what I'll tell you about Colton. He's going to power through. But yeah. that's the thing, yeah. though. It's kind of like going to the Apollo. I feel like if they thought he was being fake, right. they wouldn't be down with it. But he's just going to be like, well, you don't like that? I'm going to do it more. Yeah. Right. And Whereas then they Jersey people like, are like, we don't like that. And the fact that you're going harder makes us angrier. Right. Yeah. yeah. That's true. That's what I'm saying. They're both rough places. It's a, it's but, a very apples and oranges uh decision here i just think the I, I don't know i just see a bunch of if it is black rooms in philly it's not gonna they're gonna say hey you tried <laughs> <laughs> i see you up there keep doing your thing <laughs> it ain't funny but keep doing your thing <laughs> too gay you know for me <laughs> you know what i'm saying Whereas the hecklers in, in Jersey could provide material for him to rip yeah. up. Yeah. See, I think Colton would start giving it back to them in a yeah. way they're, where they're like, you know. And he would be too scared to offend the black rooms. Mm-hmm. Because they also would give would be like, hey, get off the fucking stage. Right. And then he'll try to say something. <laughs> but he'll be too scared to really offend them how you have to offend hecklers. And he'll just fucking die a slow yeah. death with her. <laughs> yeah. I think Colton wouldn't be afraid to tiptoe around Italian suburbanites. Yeah. Scared That's true. Of, scared of shit to, to yeah. walk out of a black room like yeah. trying to shit up. But I, Agreed. They, I do think if he just did his thing, they would be like, hey, I see you, dog. That shit ain't funny, but <laughs> <laughs> I see you. <laughs> Keep doing your thing. Oh, man. So you got Philadelphia. I'm taking Philadelphia. All right. So we're both taking Philadelphia in that game. Uh, last game of the divisional round, we got the Dallas Cowboys against the San Francisco Giants. Uh, I'm taking San Francisco. I, oh, I think he's doing better in San Francisco, right, than Dallas? Right. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. I think uh, home, home field advantage on that one. Is there cheese and cake? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's fitting right in there. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, but Dallas has, you know, 
Well, let me think about it. Because Dallas does have a part of town that's like artsy. And yeah. It depends on where he's at. It might be some kind of like finicky gaze he's performing in front of in San Francisco, too, where they're just like, hey, you got to dial it back. This is like, wow, you're making us look Colton's bad. too yeah. much for the gays. What about like old gays? <laughs> I feel like old gays are pretty laid back. Like, yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. Old gays love Colton. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. He see, dated. Uh, did he ever tell? Did Colton ever tell you the story of he was dating an older man? Famously dating. And then, yeah, <laughs> he was dating an older man and they broke up. And the next time Colton saw the guy out, he was the guy was with his new boyfriend, pushing his new boyfriend in a wheelchair. So the old gays love Colton. Interesting. Yeah. And he kind of loves the old gays. What was the, why did you bring up the wheelchair? <laughs> That's how old his boyfriend was, that his new boyfriend was in a wheelchair. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, I think he's doing great in San Francisco. I think he's probably going to get there a day or two early, fuck a couple people, bring some people out to the he audience. He just might, yeah. 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 He wanted us to do this on uh, which city he you think he'd rather spend time in a bathhouse in. That was his suggestion for the metric this week. We didn't use it. Let's run, well, let's run it back real quick. <laughs> there's, only four, there's only four games. There's only four games. We can give you two takes, yeah. <laughs> I think I would go with Dallas on, if that's the metric. In the ba- Dallas bathhouse? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I feel like a Throw nice, them around. Nice bathhouse. That's right. They that's, don't even take the boots off. Yeah. Nice conservative gaze <laughs> behind the closet. That's right. He's going to yeah. wind up on a ranch. Yeah. Fucking Yellowstone. Absolutely. Yellowstone. <laughs> He's on King's Ranch just getting king plowed. That's right. <laughs> In the back of a Chevy. Yeah. Making up country songs. I can hear them now. You want to give us the rundown of all the games? Yeah, let's do a quick rundown here, and uh, we'll wrap it up. So, uh, thanks for joining us this week, Andre. Yep, no problem. Uh, what do we, we got? We got uh, we got for the divisional round: uh, Kansas City, Jacksonville. I like Kansas City. Andre thinks Colton's bombing in Jacksonville for sure. Uh, we got Buffalo, Cincinnati. I'm taking Buffalo in that game. Andre thinks that Colton is just going to absolutely bomb in Cincinnati this week. Yeah, uh, we. But both- he's going to look good. But he's going to look good. Because it's going to be cold. We both like Philadelphia uh, going up against the New York football giants. And yeah. then in Dallas, San Francisco, I'm taking San Francisco. Also uh, taking San Fran. Andre here. Oh, you're taking San Fran. You think Which he's he, going to gonna bomb harder in San Francisco than he is Dallas? Oh, no, I apologize. I am taking Dallas. Dallas. He's yeah. taking Dallas. So I like San Francisco and Andre's taking Dallas. What a classic matchup. That it's going to be fun. It's going to be a fun week of football, uh, all jokes aside. But uh, yeah, I'm excited for Dallas, uh, Dallas, San Francisco. That's a classic matchup. That's right. If only both teams could lose, that would be great. But you know, well, you know, such is life. We might see cool. Colton. We might see Colton do comedy in both and bomb in both, and then somehow that feels like we won. Can't wait. I think Colton needs to start getting himself booked in all these cities and then giving us reports of how he did. So that'll be something I'll address yeah. with him next week. To be fair, I did see him in Kansas City. He did not bomb. He was he did all right. He did fine. He, he did, did fine. He did. It was yeah. very uh, very just to passable be fair to you, set. Colton, yeah, I was yeah. Just trying to be funny. It was so. a tough crowd. Great cocaine from the crowd afterwards. I tell you what, I don't like to talk about it on camera, but Whew. that lesbian. Let me tell you, if you can get cocaine from a Kansas City lesbian, you take that shit eleven times out of ten. Because my goodness, oh my goodness, that's right. We it'll make two people. Time. It'll make two people you're sharing an Airbnb with. Argue about Israel and Palestine till eight in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> we had ourselves a time, didn't we? Yeah, absolutely. My goodness. Cool. We'll see you guys next week. All right. Peace. Boom. Good job, guys. That was fun.